Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I want to talk about a uh, sign that I see posted um, in front of some uh, houses in, in neighborhoods. Uh, maybe you saw them too, are the ones who state we believe Black Lives Matter, love is love, you know, it's a little list over there. Uh, the reason why I want, uh, not really to discuss, but I would like to ask some questions regarding this, uh, this um, signs. Now, these signs, um, I think that they are um, very much leaning left, borderline with uh, childlike mentality. And I will I will explain why. Um, I will say that they are very um, very. Um, they didn't think about very shallow. Uh, and I I will uh, I will explain after I'm going to read. I'm going to read them one by one. So the first one is, we believe Black Lives Matter. Love is love. Feminism is for everyone. No human being is illegal. Science is real. Be kind to all. Okay. Uh, these are very... Uh, how should I put it? They didn't think it through when they put this. Or maybe uh, the, peer, the people who you know, identify with these um, statements uh, because they are so uh, ideologically lost in their, uh, you know, thoughts and uh, uh, ideas. They don't see um, how shallow they are or how some people might have questions. So let's start with the first one. And I would try to form a uh, to formulate or to discuss each um, statement by asking another question, but in the same context. So when I'm going to ask the other the other um, um, question, I'm going to put it uh, opposite to their statement. I'm 100% that they will not agree with the other statement, even if it's the same kind of statement. You will see that they are just uh, ideologues. They don't really believe in the, the values that they try to express here. They believe to that value only if that value uh, fits a certain narrative, very narrow narrative that they promote. Not everyone. So if I would say, well, justice. Well, justice should be, you know, dispensed to good people, bad people, tall people, ugly people, fat people, thin people, how, whatever, for everyone. So if I say justice for all, that means justice should be for all. I'm not going to say justice for tall people. That means I'm excluding everybody else. Or if I'm not excluding, then my question would be, like I would ask these guys, okay, you said justice for tall people. Justice for short people? If I say that, would you feel offended because in your brain I exclude your tall people just because I say that? Because that's that's the idea. I'm, you're going to figure it out when I'm going to uh, explain. So, Black Lives Matter. Well, obviously Black Lives Matter. All lives matter. Now, if you say that, that's wrong. It's useless to say uh, brown lives matter. Um, yellow lives matter, white lives matter. I bet you that from the, these other groups that I put here versus Black Lives Matter, they don't qualify. These guys who say, have this little uh, statement here, they would have some questions about all I said. Because in their mind, if you say all lives matter, 
that is some somehow you deny that black lives matter so if they say black lives matter but you say brown lives matter or let's say something that they don't like or let's say white lives matter wow that, that, that that's unacceptable so it's a preference right here the second one love is love okay that is meant mainly for homosexual love that's why is that love is love that's what they mean because if i say incest love is love or bestiality love is love or they would have a problem with that they will have a problem with that so for them they frame love in this statement only for a certain group i don't think they they deny the heterosexual love is love but they try to emphasize that some other kinds of love is also love so we should be inclusive and tolerant okay and my tolerance is bestiality love is love um incest love is love pedophilia love is love and you're gonna hear them no 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 next one feminism is for everyone i don't think so feminism i understand it and i agree with the feminism to the extent to which women are oppressed and they need to have the same opportunities same opportunities in a society that's all the same opportunities the same rights not special treatment and it's not, not you know no discrimination that's how i see it that's the fight up to where the feminism should go but they go far beyond that which becomes in their terms toxic which they say that's a uh, fight the patriarchy whatever that is they find they talk about the uh, uh, pay gap which is an illusion because uh i haven't seen i haven't seen in the united states one advertisement where i go over there and they say we pay women one dollar for this job and we pay men five dollars for the same job i mean that 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 means logically that that company would go bankrupt or they should just hire women because it's you not know, if if they're the same same quality which they are what's the point i will hire the person who does the same job as well as the other guy or the other group at a lesser pay so it would make sense to do this but they when they do their uh, uh, sociological research regarding the pay gap they do it overall like they get a, a, a woman and say okay she started working at 25 and she's now 65 let's say 65 how much money she made and then she gets a man in the same but they don't calculate that men work on average more hours the women take more vacations the women give birth the women live uh, uh, um, in their lifetime they, they leave jobs faster not faster in a higher rate than men i mean it's just had to direct it to what studies that are over there just look for them so if you put all these variables in it's no different pay no different pay um so i don't think it's for everyone because if you push your feminism the way these guys see it i don't think men should agree with that i don't want someone to get a special treatment just because the other person has a different sex no i disagree with that so i'm not for feminism for everyone the feminism i said equal opportunity no discrimination i'm for that 100 percent. i think that goes by default you don't even have to bark about it but that's not what they mean here next one no human being is illegal now what they are talking about here is about the free crossing of the southern border border of the united states from mexico so when someone comes from a different country crosses a, an international border and goes to a different country that's breaking the law so you are illegally in that country how should i call you undocumented no you broke the law and you entered in that country against the law not legally you broke in illegally so you are an illegal person in that country now if these people i would have a question for them no human being is illegal well then that means i can come to your house just get in your house i don't know kick the door in pick the best bedroom 
and that's my house from now on and my home. Feed me. And I would say, hey, you can kick me out. I'm not illegal. So love me. Accept me. No, because they are like children. Selfish. No, no, every, everything until it burns me. When it burns me, no, must be someone else's fault. So that's with no human being uh, being illegal. Yes, they are illegally in this country. That means they broke the law. Punishment. If you don't punish, then why should I uh, pay my taxes then? Why should I drive the speed limit they ask me to? Why should I go to work and, uh, and not be paid without working? If I'm not sanctioned, if I do, do something illegally or unfair. Science is real. Now, I don't know why these guys will put this science is real here. It's because on their brain, if you question, for instance, biology in, in, the, in the terms of uh, sex biology, they, they will lose their scientific brain at once. So these guys are supporters of, you know, a transgender person who claims is a woman, is a woman, definitely, because that's scientific somehow. But if you're getting uh, into the nitty gritty, with the X chromosome, uh, Y chromosome, and so on, then they're gonna start you calling name. They're gonna call you names. So the science, science is real up to the point where they like it. When things work against them, they don't like it. And I'm, I'm making these uh, uh, comparisons and this analysis from what I heard, from the debates I heard, uh, uh, the TV, the mass media, they tried to push us these things, all these things here. And the other one is be kind to all. I don't think so. I do not think so. I will come to your house and this is, okay, this is a scenario. I will come to your house and I'm gonna beat the shit of your kid. And then before I leave, I'm gonna get all your money, I'm gonna slap you and you should be kind. Kind, okay? Okay. This is the same thing as that stupid thing, uh, stu stupid statement. Why can't we just all get along? I love peace. We all, I love peace. I want it to be peace. Yeah. Under what terms? Yeah, be kind to all. I don't think so. I don't have to be. I mean, can you be? Are you? I mean, how can you be kind to all? And besides, kind, you know, uh, first I think it, it's have the job done, do the right thing, and be kind. Kind is something, you know, an extra, like the cherry on the cake. That's what, what, what to be kind. And kind, I don't think it's a, a um, by default. You have to earn to be treated kindly. Unless you're going to end up badly. Go in a neighborhood where you're not supposed to and three people come to you and say, hey, what's up? Give me your money. Be kind. Give them all the money and be nice to them. Okay, and say, okay, take your pants off. We're going to do a little gangbang here. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm okay, yes. I'm kind, I'm nice. They start slapping you. What are you going to do? Be nice? No, you're going to show your claws no, and fangs and whatever you got. Preferably a uh, handgun. But they're against that. So I want to, to make an, another uh, uh, video in the future to values that I think should... Uh, uh, be real values in a society. Not, okay, uh, love is love, feminism, science is uh, be kind to all. No, something like, you know, strength, intelligence, uh, you know, uh, mental uh, uh, you know, power. I mean, this kind of things, or, uh, you know, be conscious, be stuff like that. But uh, I will have to make a little list. I thought I made it, but I couldn't find it. So it's not going to be hard because I have it in my, my brain like this. So anyway, this is what I, we believe Black Lives Matter, love is love, feminism is for everyone, no human being is illegal, science is real, be kind to all. Yeah, there I think is very narrow and very exclusive. And sometimes, you know, love is love and yeah, you seem to be so inclusive up to the point where someone's saying, oh, okay, how about we include those people? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, all right. So that's it for, for now, and uh, thank you for being with me today. Be strong, be smart, 
look for the truth and uh, be just. Ciao.